I still hate the off the hook slogan. Tell you what though, why isn't uh, mustard in the place of mayo? I wish the Inklings had the ability to climb the rock walls <laughs> to do more inking. Take it down a notch. <laughs> Shifty station. <laughs> a new update. <laughs> oh, the new weapon. <laughs> Will I use those? I'm not sure. <laughs> Nerd out again. I think I may try to stay on the hook, ladies. Anyways, hello good friends. It's time for a video that hasn't been done in quite a long time on my channel, Splatfest. But in Splatoon 2, since they were discontinued around last year at the end of Splatoon 1. <laughs> but I haven't cast my vote yet nearly 12 hours into the Splatfest simply because I just had to get to bed early and everything. And I had to go to work this morning. But now that I'm back and ready to go, I'm ready to pick my side. <laughs> Let me go ahead and pick <laughs> what I think is the best one. And I'll go ahead and get that picture right there. <laughs> but you gotta return it after the fest. No kidding. <laughs> and yeah, I didn't make my pick before the uh, Splatfest has happened. Simply because I haven't really been playing on my Switch very much with, um, what's it called? <laughs> um, oh yeah. My Switch has a hard time connecting to the internet in my bedroom. So I have to use my sister's bedroom to play online <laughs> with my Switch. So I have to m put it in here. And that's also why I'm not using face cam because, um, her room is not as good as mine. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get this Splatfest going right now. I can't wait to see what this shifty station is. Uh, let me make sure I have the right roller too. Cause I still use rollers in Splatoon. <laughs> yeah, I was using the Splat Roller for some time, but then I started using this one because it makes you move really, really fast. I don't really like the, uh, the special weapon it has, but it'll do for some things. But the special weapon for the Splat Roller is extremely uh cool maybe we'll just use it for this portion of the Splatfest right now yeah and i'm gonna say ketchup is better than mayo i already saw earlier this morning that um mayo won in japan <laughs> not happy about that <laughs> And there will be times that I skip this particular screen. Unfortunately, we're having ketchup versus ketchup right now, simply because I'm pretty sure ketchup was picked by the fans by an overwhelming margin. So now we got to start with the <laughs> fitness place. All right. Probably the best thing about um, the newer Splatoon is um, unlike the first one where you couldn't see overhead in my videos how much turf was inked on the map, like of my color versus theirs, you can actually press the X button and view all that. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? But I pretty much got nothing to lose for this match right here since it's all catch up here. <laughs> Oop. Ah. 
Wasn't ready for Trace. <laughs> Another cool thing with the rollers in the sequel is I can do vertical swings with them. Like that. I can still do horizontal ones like that, but I found the vertical ones to be uh, a lot more um, attack power. Yeah, they, they should have a lot more attack power in them since, it, since they can go a uh, further distance. I'm not really going to record every single um, match I do in the Splatfest. I'm just only going to do just a few. But at least I'm showing off how I'm starting the uh, the Splatfest anyway, <laughs> since I haven't done it 12 hours ago. <laughs> I mean, that's as of the time I'm recording this right now. <laughs> 12 hours after it started. <laughs> haven't really been looking at the map much, simply because I only want to use it if I get knocked down. Did someone... Uh, But yeah, I also will use the sub weapon if I get into position of a opponent. They they don't seem to be in position as much. I think they keep getting knocked out by teammates of mine. <laughs> in here. But unfortunately, it wasn't that effective against him because he knew when to back off from it. <laughs> It's probably just much easier to pull that move off against amateurs. <laughs> See, this guy ain't paying attention. One of the... One of the biggest things I don't really like about um, rollers in this game is they use ink a lot faster, in my opinion, than in the previous game. <laughs> How do you not get splatted right there? Yeah, <laughs> There you go. <laughs> But another benefit to just simply using the, uh... Oh, uh, I still got him. Nice. <laughs> another splat right there. How much do we have? Looks somewhat even, but I think we got the majority here. <laughs> and that won't kill me. <laughs> All right. Not a bad way to start the Splatfest. Let's hope we find somebody with mayo this time. Huh. Not just an all ketchup matchup. Man, just more ketchup. I still want to take on some mayo people. <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling you, Nintendo, you definitely made a bad choice for Ketchup's opponent. It should have been Mustard. <laughs> it the, the choices by people would have been 50-50. Um, and I still would have chose Ketchup. Because <laughs> that's all I really like to put on my burgers and hot dogs. <laughs> I also use Ketchup, believe it or not, on uh, chicken patties, too. I don't know why, but it seems to have a really good taste to it. I sort of attribute that to um, when chicken patties were a school lunch scene when I was in elementary school. Um, it's I think ketchup was the only option we had for... What's it called? Oh, uh, I'm wondering what, what, what was that effect? I know it's supposed to be like some kind of shield, but I don't know how that really works. <laughs> I know I should do some research on it, but... If anyone is, if anyone really knows the the point of that kind of power up thing you saw right there, <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> oh, and yeah, <laughs> what Brett is doing right there—that's also pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, still trying to be on the lookout for. Any enemies here? Uh. Yeah, I got a refill. <laughs> Oop. Yeah. Oh, wow, I still got him. Are you kidding me? Say, so, uh, I still need to get away from their base. 
And it looks like I got that shield reactivated. <laughs> I still haven't been KO'd yet. <laughs> Which is... Uh-oh. Here they come. <laughs> How does the map look? <laughs> Uh, about two thirds of us right now. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> now I finally got somebody within it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow! I can't believe I made it through the first two minutes without getting splatted. It's not very often this happens, and I haven't played this game in almost a week, either. I've just been way too busy with a, a lot of other things. <laughs> like trying to get some new content for my channel going. I know I know some of you still miss sluggers and everything, but um That series ain't going away forever. I just wanna do something else for once. Uh, oh. Eight more seconds. Looks like we may actually have a close finish here. But I'll do this just to get a little more ink on there. <laughs> as time runs out, because I'm pretty sure they will count that. Looks like we got a huge majority here. <laughs> oh yeah, by like 15%. Alright. Now I made it to the Fiend title. <laughs> so I really want to see these uh, ketchup and um, mayo ink colors on here. Because I think I saw on Twitter red. And red was pretty much a, not a color of ink used in the first Splatoon game. I think it's because... It portrays blood, which is, I think, gory to some players. Nintendo has its way with blood and gore in their <laughs> later released games. I mean, you may have noticed when, like, the first edition of Ocarina of Time came out, you had Ganondorf uh, spit out red blood, but then in um, later versions of cartridges and even... Um, Virtual Console and 3DS releases, he spit out green blood. Say, I'm keeping this on screen because I do want to um, talk about some things going on. As I'm pretty sure most of you know who view my videos, I have a Discord server. Uh, if you're really interested in just uh, chatting with me about my channel or some games in general, please feel free to join. Link to it is still in the description. And, um... We got the new stage! I have never played this before. Let's see how we do on it. <laughs> I mean, this is a totally blind playthrough of this stage. I don't know how it looks. Never did any scouting before it, so let's just see what I can do. <laughs> Looks somewhat flat for a while, but hey, you got shifting platforms. That makes it really fun. That's why they're calling it Shifty Station. Because <laughs> of the shifting platforms. What else would it be? Yeah, sorry, I'm not really paying attention to my ink as much. Just, I think this particular color is throwing me off a bit <laughs> when trying to look at my uh, tank. And I don't know why I'm not being threatened as much over here. <laughs> I'm like, is there literally no one coming <laughs> over here? That's what it feels like. But this definitely ain't the first kind of stage that has uh, shifting platforms on it. Can the top be? No, this top cannot be <laughs> inked. 
Uh, I'm trying to jump up here. There we go. But yeah, I made it through the uh, last match without... Um, oh! Without getting splatted, but that one... I don't know why I couldn't make it that time. Was I just, uh, well late? Yeah. I couldn't have been because I thought I made my jump right on time to it. But otherwise, the stage looks very decent. Too bad it's Splatfest exclusive, though. Although, I would hope that it's uh, playable when you do private matches. I don't know for sure if that works, but that would be cool if it is. If you can at least play the stage that way, if you can't play with strangers. <laughs> and jeez, uh, look at the map! It's uh, nearly all blue! <laughs> this is, uh... Insane! I mean, my first three matches... Uh, somewhat lopsided. <laughs> Too bad I haven't, uh... Joined in on the Spladine as much. I wonder if they may have given up. In some ways. They don't appear to have. Uh, <laughs> standing right in the middle. <laughs> it looked like I just splatted that Mel <laughs> person right there. Oh, and I can't believe I'm getting this kind of match on tape. We had to have inked at least 90% of this stage. 90%! I hope it's around that number. Yeah, look at that! <laughs> and I wanted to get a photo of that. Ninety point four. Well, at least it's the more wins I get, the more <laughs> the higher I can get on the level cap very fast. I think we'll do uh, two more matches for this video, then I'm just going to play a few matches off camera and then we'll come back to this. Probably when I get close to Catch Up Keen, I'll um, do more recordings. Oh, would you look at that! We finally got some Mayo people! <laughs> Took four matches to get to our first Catch Up Against Mayo matchup. And we're going back to the stage we first started this uh, day off with. Uh, maybe this color ain't as, uh, red as, um, it should be. <laughs> or maybe, uh, this TV I got is, uh, not that color compliant. <laughs> is it really red or is it just more like an orangish red? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what it appeared to be. I will admit, for this mayo color, it's sort of tough to distinguish it from mayo turf, or should I say mayo ink, versus unclaimed uh, turf. It may be kind of hard to distinguish it from all that, I really think. Oop. Yeah, in fact, the mayo looks somewhat white. <laughs> I know it's supposed to look somewhat, uh, like a white yellow, but in some areas where it's so bright, it looks like it's white. <laughs> How do we... Uh, looks like Mayo's dominating us so far. <laughs> I should have pulled up the map after I got splatted. And I mean immediately after it happened. 
Ah! Uh, oh. Couldn't quite get <laughs> Shark out of there. Alright, now let's do a super jump, which ha hasn't been demonstrated as much. Alright. Yes, ink still gets used up really fast <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Oh, watch out for. Yeah, I should have used the special move. Whatever. Um, we might actually have a close finish here. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. First loss. <laughs> It was pretty much bound to happen. <laughs> Alright, one more match for this video and then we'll call it an episode. Uh, just another catch up on catch up battle again. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and it's back to this stage again. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think um, one thing that was not in the uh, first uh, version of Port Mackerel in Splatoon 1 was this particular platform right here. I mean, maybe it was, but it just never gave you the ability to ink on it. So that definitely adds a whole new uh, layer of strategy. Uh oh. Oh yeah, this particular weapon right here. Just gotta get away from it right away. Because that's what it does. Whenever I see those, I just need to really swim around until it gets all done. Doing that mess of missiles. Yeah, let's just call it that. Yeah, um, I happen to notice when I'm using, uh, I don't know. Why I let myself get killed right there, but it happens too when I do pull off the attack. I kind of wish they would make you invincible when you're up in the air doing that. But I guess that would break the game a little too much. <laughs> Looks somewhat even right now. And I didn't mean to hit that this way thing. Uh, those buttons to hit those command things, they're just... Um, a huge necessity. <laughs> kind of funny to just uh, whack someone right there. <laughs> yeah, let's just get away from him <laughs> for a second. Uh, I thought I could get him right there, but my aim was off quite a lot. And it's still pretty even right now. Uh-oh. Yeah. Pretty much knew where I was based on my swimming. <laughs> Looks like Purple's finally making some dominance now. But I'm still one of those guys that's very critical about, um, what's it called? Unclaimed turf. <laughs> Uh -oh. uh. <laughs> Jeez, this ink it just goes really fast. Ah, uh, the aim was off again. 
Uh, the vertical aim is very handy. Heh. <laughs> but we still won. Heh. <laughs> Teammates definitely just had my back right there. I only get that many points. Uh, hmm. Well, that's gonna do it for this uh, video for Splatfest. I hope you enjoyed this. I may have another one up uh, in a few hours or so, but... At least I finally brought uh, a little bit of Splatoon action back to my channel for once. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, gonna leave it at that. Have an awesome day. So long.